In this lesson, we're going to continue discussing effects. If you'd like to follow along, go under your file menu to open. And in the Working Files folder, go into chapter number 14 and select Adding a Glow to it and just click Open. In this frame, there's red type in a red filled background, a red filled frame. So at this point, you can't see the type. But I'm going to click on the frame and add a glow to the type. So to do that, I'm going to click on the text listing in the effects panel, go to my FX pop up to outer glow. And you can see already it's glowing. And you can finally see the red lettering on the red background. Let me go into the settings. In the blending section, it says mode and it's using screen because screen will make whatever it falls over the top of lighter. And it's using white to make the red lighter. I can increase the opacity if I want from 75% all the way up to 100 to make that glow even brighter. In the options section, for technique, I have either softer or precise. I'm going to leave it at precise and increase the size. And that's a little bit too much glow. Let me go down just a little bit. And I can also add a little bit of noise. So if I go to like 5 or 6%, it's going to add a little bit of texture or grain to that glow. And also spread. It's going to bring the brightest part of the glow out from underneath the lettering. So it probably is going to make it look more glowing. Let me increase that amount. And you see at a certain point, it's too much. And some strange things begin to happen. But let me make it just enough that it looks like a glow. But it doesn't have those strange things happening. And I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to scroll down to the next page and I have more red type in a red filled frame. I'm going to click on the text listing. Go to my FX pop up and choose inner glow. And you can see the lettering is glowing and it too is using for blending mode screen with white to make that glow lighter. But the first time that I saw an inner glow, I was a little disappointed because I thought I was going to get neon where the center of the lettering is glowing. Well, if I change the source of the glow from edge to center, now it's starting to look a little bit more glowing. Let me go to the technique area. Instead of softer, I'm going to choose precise. And that isn't quite what I want. It's a little bit too squared off in the effects. So I'm going to go back to softer and play with the size and the choke. I'm going to make the size bigger. And you see, when I make it bigger, it goes further and further in. I probably went too far. I want some of that light part coming in. So it has a light center. Now I'm going to choke in the glow until it starts to look neon like. And I think we got it. For the size of the glow, I used 0.125 inches. And for the choke, I made it 25%. So with lettering, because lettering is so small, if you put an effect, especially inside of lettering, your settings are really important. And you're going to have to do a lot of playing with the settings. Because of that, if I wanted to use this neon lettering again and again, I would probably save this as an object style. That way, it's very easy to apply consistently to your type throughout a project. In the upcoming lesson, we're going to continue to discuss transparency and effects.